How did you think the game against Cowden Court went? Um, really good guy. Really, really, really positive. Um, again, like I said last week, in terms of what we wanted to do going into the game, uh, we did all the right things. Um, and our philosophy and our work rate and our, our training ground stuff absolutely showed out into the game against Cowden Court. Um, and again, I've said many times, I don't want to focus too much on the result. Um, the result is, it was a very good result, but it was all about how we played. And from minute one to the 90th minute, we played exactly how, how we want to set up this season and how, how the guys are working behind the scenes uh, to set our team up this season. Okay, thanks. You wanted a game against higher opposition. How did you find that game against a bit harder test? Yeah, I kind of, that's where we need to be. And we need to, the fact of the matter is, and I've said many times, we need to be in the Premier League. And, and playing a Premier League in opposition was a bit, uh, how are we going to fare and counting court? And, you know, we, we proved that we can absolutely hold our own. I spoke to the counting court manager of ours after the game. Uh, briefly, and he felt that we were absolutely favourites for the league, and that we would be favourites for the Premier League. So, a real big compliment. But I made it very clear on social media that we've got to stay humble, and we've got to respect every game. And that's what we're going to do. And we're not going to get get too wrapped up in our results in pre-season or how many goals we score and how many goals we haven't con conceded. We have to stay humble. And we have to respect every game, and that's exactly how these ladies need to be focused for the start of the season. Brilliant. So following that, after that game, how's the week been progressed since then? Um, well, well, um, training's been a bit up and down in terms of we had bad weather, didn't we, Tuesday night, so we made the decision for uh, risk of injuries, uh, especially after playing Sunday to, to not train. Uh, train again tonight, the lads are working hard with the ladies. Um, and we'll train again Sunday. We haven't got a game Sunday. Originally, we were due to play Darleston, but I cancelled that um, to pre preserve pitch and also, you know, risk of injuries, etc. So we're going to train lightly on Sunday. Um, so the week ahead's good. Um, we have Solihull United next week, so that's the game we're focusing on now. Solihull United were their biggest test for us last season, um, won the league. So it'd be interesting to see where we are with Solihull United. And they're good friends of ours, but I expect a complete, really competitive game. A very good setup, a very good organised team, very good defensively. So actually, and they can score plenty of goals. Um, so it's a real good test for us next Sunday against Solihull United. And I look forward to it, see where we're at. Cool. And with the season coming up quite quickly, what are you most looking forward to this season? Um, success, <laughs> success. Uh, you know, I think we're going to be there. I think we're going to be there and about. I don't think it's just down to success in the league I think we you know we want to be up there and we know that other teams are going to be around us and pushing us all the way and we expect that and we want that um, success in the Cups you know we want a real success we're running the FA Cup County Cup and the League Cup we want to, we want to run for it all uh, and, and, and get maybe to stab to uh, another Cup final so we're in some years some years back before I got there so success with this with this bunch they're an incredible bunch they're a good footballing bunch and, and I think it's going to be really really interesting to see the exciting times we've got ahead in terms of this football club and, and the players that we've got and I think the next two years Stabridge can expect some really positive stuff in our section. So.